On today's episode, we are joined by Way Watcher, who is the owner of Price Talk Enterprises, and we are discussing Paradigm Shift, which is a Smash Brothers tournament that is taking place this weekend in Greensboro, North Carolina. It's um Team PSRK, which is what we're going by. So it's Team Pride Stark, but we we shortened it to PSRK, and um the reason I did that actually, which is really cool, is um PSRK is also the abbreviation for the unit for the way they estimate and measure things in science in science when they don't know if they're going to be able to use the same substance over again. Okay. So it's an estimation of measurement. It's the estimation of measurement that made adamantium in Marvel universe. It's the estimation of measurement that made the first plutonium. It's the, you know what I mean? Like, right. It's awesome. (laughs) I like that. Okay. listeners like a little bit about what paradigm shift is how you got involved in team psrk awesome um well my name is uh way watcher or ziba depending on how you know me at any of these things i i now go by um psrk ziba but my company is pride stark uh enterprises and we have decided that we um, heard about Paradigm Shift because I saw it on some message boards and it was at the time just a, you know, looking at being a regional tournament for Super Smash Brothers, uh, Wii U. Specifically, only Wii U, which I was so excited about because I really don't care about the rest of the other Smash Brothers things. At, the, at that time, I didn't, at least. And um, so I reached out and was like, hey, you know, I'd love to bring some cosplayers out to you guys. I'd love to do some advertising for you guys and, you know, really help make it a big event. So, um, you know, Pride Stark uh, Enterprises, they were like, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Bring some cosplayers out. We're going to have some amazing cosplayers. We have uh, Brit Brit Frank coming out, uh, who's Hugo, as you know, and he's going to have... Tons, uh, a couple mascot outfits of like Fox McCloud and Mega Lucario. <clears throat> we have Ginger Snaps cosplay coming out. I can't wait to see her. I haven't seen her in a while, and she's always just like the biggest ball of energy in the whole world. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And then um, we also have uh, Autumn Fei Chan coming out, and she's coming from so far away. She's coming from like Wilmington, and she's doing this like so amazingly for everybody, and she's going to be there. and. I don't know. I know you know who Autumn Fei Chan is, yeah. but for the listeners who don't, Autumn Fei Chan is probably one of the most amazing cosplayers in North Carolina. Like she gets out there and kills it every time she does something, and I am utterly excited to be hanging out with her this weekend. So you know, um, Miss Charlie Rocket will not be there this weekend. Like normally, she you know comes hangs out with us, but she is pregnant at the moment and not gonna be on her feet that long but um she'll be missed of course so so, uh, you know i had to plug her real quick there (laughs) but um no paradigm shift is gonna be amazing it uh it actually grew from a just a regional tournament to an international tournament we have a bunch of guys coming out from all over the states and some people from out of the country and um the pools and everything are starting to go up now. So we're starting to look at like, who's going to be playing who, and it's all really exciting. And, um, so during this whole thing, um, Pride Stark Enterprises decided to make its own professional uh, team. So we picked up, um, a great player, a great local player to local in North Carolina named, um, to He goes by that guy. So now he is PSRK, that guy. And, um, we kind of looked at some other players. We have uh, a couple other guys that are helping him train, and we're looking at the moment for another player that could be his duo partner, and we can take them to CEO and Evo and all these other things. But um, but right now, he's the first like solid addition we have to the Smash Brothers roster for us. Um, 
And uh, it's just, it's pretty great. I mean, we, as we started getting, you know, bigger and better and posting about Paradigm Shift and really, you know, showing, showing everybody what Paradigm Shift is going to be, it's, it grew exponentially and we're really, really excited to see because these guys who are running it, uh, Team Meteor and um, I believe Zinfu Gaming is going to be there and all these other guys who are there have really done an amazing job of um, putting this together and I, I I know it's going to be an amazing event and it's something that North Carolina really needed. So, you know, there we go. That's kind of the overview. Okay. What was the, the story behind Team PS? Okay. Well, it's actually really interesting. Um, I started that, uh, I mean, originally I started as a, as a WoW player, as you know, and I was kind of like way back in the day, my own little entity and doing my own thing. And then still played a bunch of other games. And I actually had sat down uh, about a month and a half, two months ago and said, you know, I really feel like I want to start doing this again. Um, I looked at, you know, my situation money wise and all that stuff. And I said, you know, um, I started going out to some of these local tournaments and I started just watching the guys play and I threw a local tournament and I really decided that we wanted to do something to give back to the community in general. And, I um, met a player, I met Tabo, and he, uh, I actually met him on um, some, the NC Smash 4 Facebook group first, and he was talking some trash, and I thought it was funny, but he was lighthearted about it, and, you know, not a jerk, and um, so I went out to um, East Coast Games, was having a, uh, just a weekly tournament or a monthly tournament, or I don't know. And um, so I'm there and I watched him play for a bit and I was talking to him and he was telling me about, you know, some of the other tournaments he won and how he'd uh, done good and kind of, you know, at other ones and was telling me that if he had money, he was able to go to more, it would be better. But realistically, he's not, he didn't really have the money or the means to go to a lot of these tournaments. You know what I mean? Right. And um, I know that uh, our friend Leonard, who is a PSRK the Hobo Ninja <laughs> right. or Thunder Mouse, depending on what mood strikes him, I believe. Yeah. But um, he uh, he was talking about how he wanted to get into coaching, and um, he had been coaching a lot of our a lot of the NCCU students and uh, the Smash Brothers team over there um, for a while, and had been doing really 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 good with that. And um, me being a manager, you know, I just kind of and I really enjoy you know, doing the overhead work and stuff like that with all of it. And I'm, I'm all right at Smash Brothers myself, but, you know. So I approached uh, Tabo and I was like, you know, we'd love to sponsor you for um, Super Smash Con. And um, bas- I told him, you know, basically we'll put up the room and board for you and, um, you know, give you the free ride over there and I'll pay for you to be in the tournament and all that other stuff. I said, you know, but that's the, originally that was the only one we were going to sponsor him for at the time. <clears throat> and he said, uh, you know, that'd be wonderful. And we started talking and uh, we announced the sponsorship with uh, Pride Star. Originally, it wasn't Team PSRK. And then um, we all kind of had a little group meeting. And the more I talked about it, the more I was like, you know, this is something that I really enjoyed doing back in the days of World of Warcraft with um, iJag, which was it's just a game. And, um, and then, so I was like, well, we could probably move on from there and we could see what happens. And, um, I met a student from named Justin, he goes by the dwarf and, um, he is a programming student that is going to graduate soon from, uh, Durham tech. And he is a fantastic TO and he helps run CKEC, which is the, Carolina, uh, the collegiate Carolina esports committee, or something like that. I don't. I always say it wrong. He always has to correct me. It's very funny. But um, uh, I introduced you to him at Oak City, I believe, David. But um, oh yes, I know you're talking about. Yeah, and he was talking about how you know he really wanted to get into the side of like running a bigger event in November, which I can't really you know remark about, but and doing all this other stuff. And um, the more we talked to Debo, the more he was like, you know, I really want to get on this. And so we were like, that's, that's wonderful, man. We would love to have you come along for more. And then 
I uh, reached out and then I was like, you know what, guys, we'll just make team PSRK and we'll start seeing if we can figure out some sponsors and go to some more of these things. And um, so we reached out to Arkham Comics and they, um, Bill, who works at Arkham Comics uh, and runs it, is one of the one of the greatest people I've ever met. He is an amazing person and I really can't say, I really can't be more freakingly amazed at how great of a friendship I have with a man that this guy that I've only met a couple times. He's a great person. I can't stress that enough. And if you're ever up in Rocky Mount or anywhere in North Carolina and you don't go over to Arkham Comics, you are you are making a mistake. That place is wonderful. It is awesome. They run weekly tournaments and have weekly gatherings of gamers and and they are doing nothing but trying to progress the community here. And it is wonderful. <clears throat> but um, you know, he helped us get uh get going and um he is one of the reasons we're gonna have like uh team shirts for Paradigm Shift and um he he really is a good sponsor. He's great, they're great guys. Arkham comics is wonderful and um i got some hats made for us and i was wearing one of my hats in a uh, goddard actually uh to pick my son up and we got to talk i got to talking to the owners there and you know they uh decided that they wanted to sponsor us as well um other community builders and you know for all the people who are parents out there if you want your kids to succeed very strongly right off the bat I have to say Goddard are some of the most loving people I've ever met in my life. And I, all of my children will be going there. They're wonderful. And um, so, you know, after all that started happening, I started looking into it further. And I was like, you know what, Tabo, I'm um, going to take you to CEO. And <clears throat> we're going to go to CEO. We're going to go to Super Smash Con. I mean, Paradigm Shift's coming up, you know, whatever. We'll establish us ourselves now and, We'll just keep going until then. And um, depending on how well Tavo does here at Paradigm Shift, which honestly, Tavo not doing good at Paradigm Shift, I believe Lightning would have to come out of the sky and strike him before he walked in. Mm. That's how much faith I have in him. Okay. <clears throat> but um, as long as he does well at Paradigm Shift, we're going to go to Evo as well, which is in uh, Las Vegas this year. Oh, not very nice. Yeah. Um, Evo is like the world, champion of fight, the world championship of fighting games. So. Um, I believe taking um, to the Evo is going to be a wonderful thing, and I'm going to go anyway. So why wouldn't we? You know. So is he the only team member you have, or just one? Or just one of many? Uh, well, realistically, it's um, him and uh, like I said, Leonard is uh, the Hobo Ninja. He right. okay. he does well at the tournaments. He just happens to be coaching currently instead of doing it. And um, Smash Brothers teams generally only tend to be two or three guys. So right now I'm looking at picking up another member. And I'm being very cautious and I'm, you know, really thinking about who I want. And we're really, uh, we're looking into it. That's the best way to put it. Gotcha. Wish you luck with that. Yes. Yeah, thanks. I have a little, um, the other side of Team PSRK right now is we have a, we have a Hearthstone community that um, is growing that, um, Currently, I run it's a uh, hearthstonex.com, uh, which is like a Hearthstone website where we post legend decks and really good decks and really help out the whole thing. I think we're about 8,000 people strong, uh, pretty active members too. So um, that's kind of where that, that whole thing spawns from. And we're, we're in the middle of talking to some other people that I can't really disclose currently, but, but good things are on the horizon. As they say, keep, keep the faith and you keep, keep doing your work and it will pay off for you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, um, I know we're talking about, par about Paradigm Shift because that's, you know, yeah. on the list of many things that are up upcoming. So that, that, and I know, you know Evo will be on the horizon soon, but Paradigm Shift is next weekend. And yep. as I was looking at, it, it's going to be in Greensboro, North Carolina. So, yeah. Okay, so... And that is going to be next Saturday, the 21st? It's going to be Saturday and Sunday. Okay, Sunday. And um, the finals are going to be Sunday. And right after the finals are over, we're going to pack everybody out, everybody I can into the car, and we're going to go up to Arkham and celebrate. Um, I see that this is in 
let's see, the location of the tournament, for those who are listening out, I'll put stuff in the description, is Griffin Recreation Center, which is 5301 Hilltop Road in Jamestown. It's in Jamestown, North Carolina's address. I'll put the description. No worry, people. Um, let's see. So I'm just kind of looking over the rules of the tournament. Is so that you'll be doing singles and doubles matches. Um, and I'm just kind of going over like so there's the single rules of what's, what's allowed, what's not allowed. So, um, can you just play it like for people who don't know like the Smash tournament side of things? So, like, well, what's allowed? Because there's a lot here, but <laughs> I know you're, you're more versed in than I am. Um, well, basically, uh, you're gonna play. Uh, is it two? Is it two or three stock? Did you see that? I see it is a th three stock, eight minute items to set set off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So it's three stock. So basically, each pe uh, you play best two out of three games, and each per each person during those games uh, during those games has three lives basically, and. Um, you go back and forth, and whoever runs out of their lives first loses that game, and then you do three games for a match, so best out of three. Okay. And that's kind of it. Um, you get knocked into the loser's bracket if you lose once, and then if you lose in the loser's bracket, you get knocked out of the tournament. Okay. Pretty simple. Okay. Um, there's no items on, and there's uh, only eight minutes per game, and... Um, Generally, if you're going to play any of the me characters, they're just one, 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 one across the board, which means they just have the basic whatever set. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's really you're just better off at showcasing your skills at whoever your main is or one of your mains. So, yes. uh, my mains? Oh, well, let me tell you. My mains are actually Corin and Bowser, with my pocket character being Charizard. Who I only play in the blue skin, so it's Zubat. Nice. But for this tournament, I am going to be playing a lot of Fox. And that is because Hugo, who is one of our cosplayers, will be there dressed as Fox. And I told him that to honor him and to thank him for being there, I would be playing most of my pools as Fox McCloud. Nice. So I have spent the past month learning to play Fox because let me tell you, I was trash at Fox. <laughs> Fox, I think even going coming from the first Smash Brothers, Fox was always difficult. Like, yeah, he's a. I want to say he's a technical character, um, but it's just the the difference in play style between him and like Bowser or Corn are so, is so different and I, I just never played him in any of the games i've played you know 64 all the way up here and i just never played fox so mm -hmm. it was really weird picking him up but um but to throw some shout outs to some people you know i had a lot of help from um CKEC and those guys i had a lot of help from my nccu students and um i must have watched j tails um competitive guide on fox at least five times so <laughs> nice yeah, I've gotten a little bit better at Bowser, than, I just, although I use the gamepad, but I, I know how to control Bowser a, little, a lot better. <laughs> so will you, be, will you be playing in any like doubles matches or just singles? I am only going to be playing in singles, and really I'm only playing for fun. Um, <laughs> I don't imagine that I'm going to go personally very far in the tournament. Um, I believe Tabo is going to do amazing. Uh, that PSRK, that guy, is going to do wonderful PSR. Um... Uh, we also have PSRK the Dwarf there. Um, he's in Fatality's um, uh, pools, though, so he'll probably be in the loser bracket, to be honest. Um, but he, I'm sure he'll do great. Um, I'll probably make it out of pools, but we'll see what happens. Like, Really, my role here this time is going to be coaching uh, team, uh, team PSRK. Um, and that's all there is to it. Leonard is going to be there to be the hype man and kind of get everybody all excited. I'm also helping out with the whole thing, so I'm just going to be running around with cosplayers most of the weekend and making sure everybody's having a great time. Gotcha. Uh, you you said, mentioned the pools. So can you explain the pools to our listeners as well? Uh, yeah, the way the way pools work is it kind of like tells you who you're going to be playing against in the the first day. 
So, like, uh, for instance, um, you know, it shows, like, which players you could possibly be up against in the brackets at the very beginning. So it's it's not hard to explain, but I'm, like, drawing a blank on how to explain it at the moment. Oh, I got you. I just wanted to ask, you know, in case people were like, what does that mean? Like, I got you. Yeah. Okay. So, it gives you a good it gives you a good range of where your bracket's gonna be. Right. Okay. So for people who are interested, you know, trying to enter the Smash scene, just in general, like, what, you, just, what, what would you tell them to say? You know, to start out just having fun, or or if they want to really get just get serious with it, what would you tell? If them you want to get good at Smash Brothers, like, like honestly, the best way to become a tournament player is to go to local tournaments. Um, just about wherever you are, you can go on Smashboards and find out where local tournaments are for you. If you type in Smash 4 into Facebook, I'm sure you'll find a bajillion groups. And there are some that are, you know, every region has a lot of regional and local tournaments. Um, we're blessed in North Carolina to have a crazy Smash Brothers scene. So if you're listening to this in Europe, North Carolina or South Carolina and really want to get into smash brothers like you're probably in the one of the best places in the country oh, yeah. we have some of the best players here we have some of the best T we have the best tos like i don't care what anybody says the best tos for smash brothers live in north carolina so if you're looking to go to some really well-run tournaments and meet some really funny guys and some good people you should probably get into smash brothers in north carolina it's a fun game <laughs> Listening, you know, I've I've been to some of your um, game nights and watching, you know, people have fun there, you know, training and everything. Like, yeah. I, I when I was like, yes, it's very serious and very competitive. So, I yeah, too. This, so I just remember some of the things I played against. Like, you know, I got I got one over on Leonard, but hey, like, that was <laughs> that was good for me. But yeah, but just to see, you know, how competitive it was. Like, you know, this is something that if you really want to get into it. Take your time and practice, but still have fun though, regardless, you know. Yeah. So will this be your first time going to Paradigm Shift? I believe it's Paradigm Shift's first time, period. Okay. So yes. I it's possible I'm wrong about that. I do not think I am. Yeah, I'm looking on their website, I don't see it. But, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, After Paradigm Shift though, uh next month is gonna be CEO. 2016, and it'll be my first time going to that. Where is that going to be located? CEO is in uh, Orlando, Florida. Oh, it right. is, um, I, I jokingly call it the Evo of the East Coast, but it's it's a huge international event. It's one of the major Smash Brothers tournaments. That one I'm going to have my, um, my big boy pants on for. I'm going specifically to play in the tournament there. Right. And um, yeah, you'll see me. You'll see me in some of the top, the you know, the further up pools, I'll, I'll definitely be, you know, top 30 there. Nice. So you Paradigm Shift, I'm going for some fun. I'm going to hype everybody up and play some people. Not really too worried about what's going on at Paradigm. CEO, I'm going to be, I'm there to win. So uh, gotcha. you'll to see the difference between me there, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah, I got you. Hey. Yeah. I know you'll, you'll do fine. Like, you know, I've played against you a few times. So I, I know I know people will get their, having their hands full. You're good. Yeah. Even if anything you want to tell people is, you know, just to get just to start the hype train now and say, come on out next, next weekend. Um, look, if you, like, if people aren't signed up to just go to watch Paradigm Shift yet, you really should be. Get ready because this is about to be one of the most hype, amazing, fun events that North Carolina has ever held. I got all the great cosplayers coming out. I got some of the funniest players coming out. We got Leonard, who is, you know, the head of, or the lead singer to his band, uh, War in the Pocket right now coming out. We got some of the best sponsors for Paradigm Shift ever. This is about to be a crazy fun event. Do not miss it. Awesome. And in terms of people, you know, supporting you and your endeavors, you know, uh, Price Dark Enterprises, you know, mm -hmm. where, where can they find you online? Um, as far as uh, Pride Stark online, you can literally just look up Pride Stark ENT. We're all over the place. Um, you can go to Team PSRK, and you can find all of our social media. 
Uh, if you're looking for, you know, some, if you're looking for any sort of consulting or business management, you can go to pridestart.com. That's me. Uh, and just find us online, man. You can't miss us. We're everywhere. Like every social media ever. I'm going to be, you know, periscoping the entire thing. I'm probably going to get a new phone before next weekend. Like I'm telling like everywhere. Just look us up. Team PSRK, Pride Stark. You'll find us. 